I've been looking for a Towns Van Zandt record, like an original issue Towns Van Zandt record since I started collecting records and I've still never found one. The music aficionado knows just the place to look. A collection of eclectic mom and pop shops in a hidden gem section of Atlanta. We made it to Little Five Points, which is a part of town here in Atlanta. Really cool area and we're at Wax and Facts. Record store, been here for 38 years. It's just dark, dingy been there forever. No matter what you buy, they're always going to be more hip and more cool than whatever it is you're listening to. My buddy Nick, we play the main tours together and he knows 10 times more about music <laughs> and he's just an encyclopedia. So we're just going to flip through some records Sometimes. and see if we can find some gems. We were in Guatemala at a mini tour event down there and sat next to each other on the bus and I was kind of like, hey, where were you listening to? And he's like, Wilco. And I was like, done. We're friends. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen. Katie has found the hip hop section, obviously, <laughs> and is looking for some sort of gangster rap. <laughs> Jay Z, DJ Jazzy Jeff. He really made a name for himself. I kind of had to force him to branch out. He was really into the indie and old rock and roll, and um, I kind of brought the soul <laughs> to Roberto. Here's today's haul. We got uh, T Bone Burnett's first band, the Alpha Band. I've never uh, gotten any of his records but that's one. Actually, his first band was the B-52 band. This is why this is why you come to these places. <laughs> T-Bone Burnett produces the music for all the Coen Brothers films, and he played at Pebble this year, and I met him, and everybody I told, I was like, T-Bone Burnett's here. They're like, who is that? Why are you not more interested in, like, you know, Peyton Manning or someone? When the quest for music is satisfied, a couple doors down, there's the Porter Beer Bar to quench the thirst. The Porter's really cool and it's very popular and it's kind of a thing, like a gastro pub, which is like a bar with good bar food. It just feels like it's been there for a hundred years. This is a good place to pop your head in if you can. We're gonna have dinner, grab a drink, whatever. But this is just one of those places that serves all purposes. That's what's great about the Porter. 